All right, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So I'm excited to welcome everybody back on Tuesday, the two day. Tuesday, the 22nd of 2022, a lot of twos. So I just wanted to share the reopening, um, some frequently asked questions that we posted and we also sent out just to let everyone know um, about coming back. We're so excited. Um, but just what health and safety measures that were taking place, we continue to do the ones that we've done in the past. Um, we want all staff and children to do the self screening prior to coming on campus. And, and then we have for staff, children and family members who have symptoms of illness um, or have been in contact with someone who tested confirmed case of COVID-19 to please not come to campus. Um, we record all the staff that go into the classroom. So we have our contact tracing, of course, good hand washing with the children throughout the day. Um, our high touch surfaces around the classrooms and the buildings are cleaned um, daily and throughout the day and public works cleans the main areas, the lobby at night. And uh, we need to continue to wear masks, stay physically distanced and hand sanitizing around areas. So um, <clears throat> the information I, on if there is a confirmed case at the ECEC, we have a tier one is a general notification that goes out to all families and all staff every time there's an individual um, that we are notified about. That goes out via school messenger on phone, email, and text. Uh, and it's so important to have updated information um, with, with us here at the ECEC so that you are receiving those notifications. And then the tier two is for close contact notification that also goes out through school messenger um, through the email. And we also, you will receive a phone call from the campus leaders on that. And tier three would be the quarantine notice. And so if you are uh, needing to quarantine, then you will also get that notification. Um, so we get those notifications out as soon as we possibly can. Um, sometimes you'll notice that the date, the last time the person was on campus might have been um, three or four days earlier, but is it's when we get the notification of that and when we are told, then we get that information out. Just updating our uh, mask mandate. Um, it, it did change from the beginning, and I know that everyone's probably aware of that, but you know, children ages two and older are required to wear masks. Um, we can supply masks for families um, and children, and um, there are times, of course, when they're not required to wear masks is when they're eating or drinking um, outside and during nap time or rest time. We're going to do signing in the child and the same way as when we left in December. So drops off and the ECEC will be used by ProCare in the lobby. Um, we will still continue to do the screening questions of does your child have any flu like symptoms? And we do have a list below of all of those symptoms. Um, have you been exposed to anyone with flu like symptoms? And, or if you've been exposed to anyone who tested positive. If you answer um, yes to any of those questions, then we will refer you to the health office to do further investigation. Um, we'll check everyone's temperature and after that, then you families will be going to the classrooms. Again, we're asking families to stay outside of the classrooms as much as possible knock and the classroom staff will complete the rifle health check. Um, 
and if you do, we're we're prefer that meetings are done by phone or virtually. Um, if you are requesting a um, face to face meeting, schedule it in advance with the ECEC staff. So I just wanted to go over that information. Um, also wanted to share this is a really if you haven't checked out the website. Um, the COVID information on our Salt River Schools website, we do have this dashboard that um, is kept up to date. And so, so excited as of today, um, the ECEC has zero active cases. We've had uh, 55 cases um, all year long, but that's a really good place to get the most up to date information. And did anyone have any questions for me? Um, you can put um, questions in the chat. If not, I'll let you guys all get on with your three day weekend and the rest of your Friday. Um, I'm wishing you well and we'll see you on Tuesday.